Hello, I am developer of GMD applications and today I am gonna show GMD as pen control application. This application allows to control your note device with gestures. It will work on any Samsung Note device including original Note, Note 2 and Note tablet devices. And gestures must be executed with Samsung S Pen stylus. Let's open the application. And here we have default gestures that I added to the application. Now, you may know that Samsung already includes a few gestures and you may want to disable them if you don't want them to conflict with gestures that you draw with this application. Also, on custom ROMs you can check this checkbox if you want to avoid scrolling off screen when drawing a gesture. For example, if I uncheck it, just scrolls. Now, if you disable Samsung gestures or you are using some custom ROM, then by default your S Pen will not draw path. So you can select second checkbox. Now it is drawing path again. In order to execute gesture, you need to press button on S Pen stylus. Now I'm gonna show you default actions that are available. First one is Launchpad. It's a small window where you can add your custom actions or applications that you want to start. This Launchpad is available in any application. So for example, let's open browser. And again, I can open my launchpad and by long, with long click I can add more applications. Second action is bottom launch bar. By default it contains recently used applications and to execute it you need to draw upwards from bottom border. Again you can just click and open recently used application. Let's return back. Next one is home. Just draw upwards anywhere on screen. And if I draw again from bottom bar, it will open recent apps. Previous and next application allows you to jump to previously used applications or to navigate again back after you went there. It is special gestures because they use starting zones. That means that you can execute it only from the center of a border. For previous application you need to draw rightwards from center of left border. And next application the same way just try it border. If I draw on top area or just anywhere on screen, it does nothing. Again, center of left border and center of right border. And last one is pause and unpause S Pen Control application. This is needed if you want to execute some Samsung gesture after you disabled them. Just draw downwards from top and gestures are stopped. Now if I draw V, see, nothing happens. The only gesture that is working now is the same 
false gesture. Just draw again downwards from top and gestures are turned on again. Now, the real power of this application is custom gestures. As you can see, currently I have three custom gestures for back. Browser and calculator. Let's open calculator. Okay, and we return back to this control application. Creating new gesture is really simple. Just click record gesture and draw your gesture. Let's create a gesture to start a song. I pick S. And if I don't like, I can just reset and draw it again. Now, I can draw it anywhere on screen without resetting and it will test if this new drawing matches my gesture. See? Perfect match. Now, let's draw something opposite and it misses. Okay, I'm happy with my gesture. Just click next. And now I only need to select action. There are a lot of actions available. Launchpad. I already showed you center launchpad and bottom launchpad. But separate launchpads are available on every border. Custom actions. Like application management. Status bar actions. Custom browser actions like page end or page top, page down, page up, also search, voice search. Setting toggles like screen rotation, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, notification panel, settings panel, power menu, screen off. Also media actions. Like playing next song, previous song, pausing or playing. Some keyboard actions. And specific actions to this application. It's again pausing gestures or Samsung gesture. It means pausing gestures just for one Samsung gesture. Also you can exit the application. Triggering any launchpad shortcut and opening any application. So, as I said, I want to start playing music. I select actions, media actions, and play pause. Now you can select some starting zone. And that means the gesture will be executed only if you start drawing it in that area. But I will allow it to execute anywhere. And that's it. Save it. Let's test. Perfect. Draw it again. And music stops. Now I have and gesture for browser, but let's say I changed my mind and I don't like it anymore. Just long click on it, edit and select record gesture. Reset and I want B for browser. Let's test it. Huh, it doesn't match. Let's draw it again. Now it's matching. Good. Next, same action. Anywhere. Save. And our new gesture. Some music.
Some population. Browser again. This. There are a lot of additional settings available, like modifying launch pad, changing icon size, bigger, or maybe less big, or even small. Label size and launch pad, items number, and position. Also, you can rearrange items. You can disable S Pen control for particular applications. Or remove some applications from previous ne previous next applications or recent applications. Also, you can remove icon in notification area. Disable toggles. Uh, disable toasts. Vibrate on gesture and so on. And you can read some help in help tab. And if you want to execute gestures simply with your fingers, please check out my other application, GMD Gesture Control. It works perfectly together with GMD SPM Control on Node devices. And can be used on any other Android device, phone or tablet. This was GMD SPAN Control application presentation. Thank you for watching.